Welcome back everyone, hope you're all well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict. And today I thought it would be quite appropriate to do a video on caladium care as I've been getting asked quite a lot of questions on my caladiums recently. I'm going to run through with you soil mix, temperature, humidity, light and overwintering for caladiums. Last summer I had a teeny tiny Florida clown caladium. It was really small, the bulb was tiny when I received it and it only grew two leaves I think and it was, it was so cute. So when I planted these bulbs around 10 weeks ago, I was just expecting maybe two leaves from each bulb and I cannot believe the size of these caladiums compared to the one that I had last year. I mean, look at the size of this beast. So caladiums are a tropical perennial native to South America and there are tons of different varieties. I'm definitely gonna be collecting some more next year. I feel like they're really easy to care for and I'm gonna run through some care tips with you now. Let's start off with soil mix. So caladiums love a well-draining, slightly acidic soil. So if you're just using household potting mix, you can just add a little bit of sphagnum peat moss to the mix just to make it a little bit more acidic. So my caladiums are potted up in coir compost, a little bit of orchid bark, some perlite, and then I added a little bit of the sphagnum peat moss just to make the soil a bit more acidic. So try and keep the soil slightly moist. They don't like the soil to dry out too much and then they, they don't like to sit in soggy soil either. So it's, it's a bit of a fine balance, but once you get it right, your caladiums will just be so happy. I did find that the stems would bend and snap if you weren't giving them enough water. So just make sure that you're keeping the soil consistently moist. I've been fertilizing my caladiums once a month with my Baby Bio fertilizer, which I'll link below for you. I use that for all my um, houseplants. Two of my caladiums I'm keeping inside as houseplants, which is this one here and this guy. And then this one that's got the biggest leaf. This one has been outside now for about almost two weeks. In regards to temperature and humidity, caladiums seem to do best when the temperature averages around 21 degrees Celsius or above in the daytime and 15 degrees Celsius during the nighttime. They can tolerate lower temperatures, but you'll find they won't grow quite as big or as fast. I'm actually quite surprised that this caladium has grown so large being outside for the last couple of weeks because the nighttime temperatures in the UK I've only been about 12 degrees Celsius, so not really that warm, but he still seems to have grown really big for some reason. They will tolerate various levels of humidity. Obviously, the higher the better. They love um, a nice, warm, humid environment, and that will just avoid uh, crispy tips. The humidity in my home is currently around 50 to 60%, so it's not too bad. If you are having trouble keeping up the humidity levels in your home, you can get a humidifier or I have made a video on how you can improve the humidity in your home without the use of a humidifier, just some tips and tricks. So I'll link that below for you. I only really run my humidifier probably once a week in the summer because the humidity levels are quite high anyway, but in the winter I'll run it about two or three times a week. I also made a video on my humidifier last year, which I'll link below for you. And if you'd like me to do an update um, review video on it, let me know. In regards to light requirements for your caladiums, they are light sensitive due to the really thin and fragile leaves, especially the more translucent um, leafed caladiums like this one here. This one is not quite as translucent, so it's not quite as light sensitive. So depending on exactly which variety you have, it, they may have different light requirements. So caladiums prefer shade and filtered sun if they're outside and bright indirect light if they're inside. And they can tolerate a little bit of morning or maybe evening sun if they're inside. I have heard that you can purchase 
varieties that like full sun, but I'm not quite sure which varieties those are, so you have to do a bit of research on that if you're looking to have them outside in full sun. Too much sun can actually damage the leaves and cause brown patches, so be really careful not to get direct sun on your caladiums, especially the ones with the translucent leaves like this one next to me. As you can see with this one here, there are slight brown patches on some of the leaves and that's probably because it's had a little bit too much sun, but all the new growth is coming through really nice and there doesn't seem to be any brown patches on it. If you are planting your caladiums outside, just make sure they're planted in a really sheltered spot as wind can also damage the fragile leaves. They get blown about in the wind. <laughs> so all my caladiums were planted as bulbs or tubers around 10 weeks ago. If you are planting them as bulbs, you need to make sure that there's about one and a half to two inches of soil on top of the bulb when you're planting them. And usually it'll take about four or five weeks for them to start coming up if the soil is warm enough and the temperatures are warm enough. I think I planted mine back in May and it did take about five weeks for them to come up. Overwintering caladiums. So if you live in a lovely warm climate, unlike the UK, you can probably leave your caladium tubers in the ground over winter if they're outside and just mulch over them. But here, if you've got them outside, you're gonna to need to dig them up and dry store them. So all you need to do is dig up your tuber and then make sure it's dried out. So either keep it out in the sun for a couple of days or put it in the airing cupboard or something like that. And then put it into a paper bag and I always put a little bit of yellow sulfur in with mine and that just makes sure that it doesn't go mouldy. And then you're basically just storing it in the cupboard over the winter. Just make sure that the temperature wherever you're keeping the bulb is above 15 degrees Celsius. And then when it comes back round to spring, you just plant your tuber and then wait for it to grow again. If you're keeping your caladiums as house plants, what I did last year was I left the tuber in the soil uh, I let the leaves die back and then I left it and then when it came around to spring I thought oh you know hopefully it's going to grow soon but it actually didn't come back so I don't know what happened it may have just rotted away in the soil even though I wasn't watering it during the winter so I think this year I'm going to dig up all the bulbs and just dry store them even with my caladiums that I'm keeping inside. When it does come round to that time of year where I'm starting to overwinter some of my tropical plants, I'll make a little video for you so you can see how I'm doing it. Well, I think that's all the basic caladium care tips I can think of. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful and I hope it's sparked your love for caladiums because I'm sure if you get one, you'll want to collect loads of different varieties because they're just absolutely beautiful and so striking. So I'm just going to zoom into the caladiums for you now so you can see they're absolutely stunning leaves. So enjoy the last bit of the video and enjoy the music and I'll see you soon in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye.